It's a new year, Tara. Might as well get in that fitness state of mind. Yes, January prime time for those looking to get back on the horse when it comes to fitness. And if it's been a while, well, you might not know what to expect when you hit the gym. Here to take us through some of the trends we're going to be seeing in the coming year, Helen Vanderberg of Heaven's Elevated Fitness. We are so happy to see you back here. Yeah, so good to see you again. Okay, yeah. happy new year to you. And you're going to help us kind of get back at it. Now, tell me about a survey. This is a Can Fit Pro survey. Yeah, so CanFit Pro is one of the largest education um, certification bodies for fitness professionals in Canada. And they do an annual survey every year. And this year they did a little twist to the survey in that they asked fitness professionals across Canada to identify what they thought were the top 10 or top 10 trends that got the best results. Right. So this is based on just not just the trends, right. but what are the trends that get results? Because I'm sure you see a lot of things come and go and not all of them work optimally, yes. right? Yes, there's a lot of things that come into the <laughs> fitness industry and as, as a fitness professional and, and all of the fitness professionals that were uh, surveyed, there's things that are out there that are, are what we call gimmicks, right? right? And they don't really get your results. Okay. They're fun for a short time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, and that's, I mean, it's not necessarily the name of the game, right? Like right. You, it has to be effective. So, okay, let's uh, go through the top three then. You want to start with number one or number three? Well, let's start with number one. Okay. Um, th this has been trending for quite a while. Yeah. It's, it's HIIT training. And people get confused about what HIIT training is, but HIIT training stands for high intensity interval training. So high intensity interval training means that we want to push our, our efforts up to our maximum effort. So maximum effort for you, whatever you are as far as your fitness level goes. Right. And then recovery time. And the time that you do the work varies depending on your fitness level, your goals, and the workout. But the whole idea behind HIIT is it's short, it's intense right. belts of exercise sure. with recovery. So typically a HIIT workout should be 30 minutes long. You warm up, you hit it hard, you get out. Right? And that's great for people who are, who are working full time. Yeah, it's time efficient yeah. and um, it's a great way to, to, to train. You could do it as a cardio workout, you could do it as a strength training workout, you can mix up cardio strength. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. But one thing that people don't know is that the recipe for HIIT training should be 25% of your workouts per week. So a lot of times what people do is they get really excited about high intensity training. It's like, I want to do high intensity training all the time. Yeah. And uh, it should only be 25% of your workout. So if you're working out five okay. times a week, once or twice a week should be maximum what you do for a high intensity workout. Okay. And do you have anything that we need to see? Yeah. So high intensity training, you want to <laughs> do it with me? Scared, okay. okay. Here's, here's a, a basic exercise that would work. Okay. okay. So we would go high 10 nose. repetitions of burpees. Oh, oh. we're not going to do that today. No. We're just going to do five, but pretend you did 10. Okay. How about, Ready? Can I, how about I do one? Okay. Do one. <laughs> go. Okay. Right. So burpee. So down. Down. Go. <laughs> Push up. Okay. Good. In and up. Okay. okay. That's level one. But a full burpee is this. You can do this. I know you can. Okay. You jump. <laughs> you go right down. You get right back oh. up. Okay. Getting right down. Okay. Is really so that's go. an example. Come we got to move through go. these. Unfortunately, <laughs> I would love to do ten more of those, but well, that was fun. So be ten burpees and then recovery time and then repeat it. Okay. Number two is functional fitness. What is that? So functional fitness is again. This has been trending for quite a while. while and it's moving away from traditional strength training where you use selectorized machines to get your strength training weights like the typical weight training that you see you stick your weight in the pin and you push it yeah is use your own body weight against gravity right so example while we're talking squatting come on let's squat together so an oh, air wow. squat right an air oh, squat is a squat. functional training okay but to make it more functional is what we need to do in life is pick up stuff from the floor and bring it up right so rather than feeling like you've stopped yourself go right down bring it up add rotation to it Kids, don't do this with heels. <laughs> um, and next, so number three, well, this is body weight training. So is that all tied into one, functional and, and body weight? Yeah, so what's interesting is HIIT training and functional training, a lot of the exercises that are chosen for those activities are body weight. Your burpee was your body weight exercise. Yeah. Push-ups are body weight exercise. And they're all hard. They're all hard. It's really about mastering your own body against gravity. If we can do that, then we're functionally fit, and it's a body weight training exercise. Let Helen be your guide for 2015 because she is the best Heaven's Elevated Fitness. Helen, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year and to you. thank you for that. I'm a little bit warm. We're going to check in with Kristen Hallett right now at Corba Bakehouse.